Hey guys, thanks so much for joining me. Welcome to Chit Chat with QT. The views that I express are my own personal opinions and reactions for research and commentary, and everything is alleged. Join me while I discuss hot topics, reality TV, celebrity news, and more. Please make sure to like the video, hit that notification bell, and subscribe. So let's get into the video, guys. Yesterday, it was announced that Monique and Chris Samuels would not be returning to Love and Marriage DC. And this morning, Monique confirmed the news on the radio show that she hosts, which is WPGC. So according to Monique, there isn't really anything going on with her and Chris. She said the money wasn't right. So she said her contract should have been straight, but it was crooked. So is own paying people subpar as far as what they should be paid for filming a reality TV show? I don't believe it. And a lot of people on the Instagram page that I was reading in the comments, a lot of people don't believe it either. They stated that Monique has a history of blaming either the networks or whatever the case may be instead of just her taking accountability for whatever happened on these shows so we know what happened with her on real housewives of potomac with candace and me personally i wasn't too mad at monique's actions at the time i really wasn't because candace is like a little chihuahua at times to me and i felt like that she was picking and prodding but you should keep your hands to yourself. Then on Love and Marriage DC, we saw Monique basically belittle her husband. We saw a different side of her when it came to her marriage and the people that are speaking out in comments across social media, they believe that Monique is leaving because the show showed her in her true essence, if you will. So people are saying that she has a history of blaming editing and all of that and with that divorce rumor that came out a couple months ago people are saying that that is the reason why she's leaving now if she's leaving to work on her marriage that is totally understandable but i'm not sure about this contract thing because if it was enough for you to sign up on the show i'm sure they bumped it up a little more for season two but you guys take a listen to Monique's audio. I'll be back at the end with just a little more commentary. Yeah, so Chris and I were actually planning to be a part of the season. And you know, we actually wanted to show how we were navigating our marriage issues. And because we know a lot of people can relate to that. Um, we did our initial production meeting, had a house together, kids, hair laid, glam, glam on standby, all of that. But the main reason we, we didn't start filming was because of contract issues. So God works in mysterious ways because how convenient was it that this whole divorce narrative was put out there? Mm. But the fact that Chris and I, even to this day, um, we never even started filming and nobody knew that wasn't leaked. You know what I'm saying? Right. It just makes me wonder who leaked that narrative. Mm. But anyway, uh, the only reason that there was even speculation, like you said, is because they saw this trailer and they were like, wait, where y'all at? So yes, it is true. Chris and I will not be returning. Okay. Um, at this point, I think we're, we're done with reality TV, honestly. I'm just at a place in my life where I will never again allow myself to be devalued. The contract has to make sense for me. Um, and you know, when I'm filming, I'm giving my all. So if you want all of me, you got to make sure that paperwork is straight. Absolutely. So, you know, no hard feelings. Business is business. And I don't care what anybody has to say about it. But as always, the show will go on. So shout out to the Tylers and the Silvers. They're going to hold it down. So make sure y'all watch Love and Marriage DC this January. Continue to support them. They are DMV. They are local. They are doing their thing. I love them. But yes, Chris and I, the Samuels, we will not be back. Wow. So no more reality TV. 
No, I think I'm done. I think I'm good. You know, we, you know, it, it takes a lot of bravery to be able to put yourself back out there um, after you've done it before. Um, but then you also have to be smart about it and just know when it's like, you know what, maybe this isn't for us anymore. I'm in a different space in life. And, you know, like I said, business is business. That, that paperwork got to be straight. And it was crooked. So I said, I'm out. <laughs> so what do you guys think about what Monique had to say? Do you think that is really contract issues? A lot of people said that they didn't believe her because she herself stated that they were ready to go. And if you're already preparing to film and all of that, wouldn't you do that after you've seen the new contract? So I'm not too sure. But you guys drop down in the comments. Let me know your thoughts about this. Please also make sure to like the video, hit that notification bell, and subscribe. Chat with you guys soon. Bye.